We got here pretty early to do the shoot with the intent of getting here before the sun was way high in the sky, but I don't think that quite succeeded, but it is a beautiful morning, so no complaints. We're pretty much equidistant between New York and Philadelphia here. Really densely populated, but we're in a forest that was saved by this rock, by diabase, from agriculture, from residential development, and now we're gonna go look for a really uncommon plant species that grows here called purple milkweed. The weird thing about where we are right now is we're on a power line cut. What we are in is a gap in an old forest because flanking this power line cut is forest that even in the 1930s aerial photography of this site was already forested. So we're in forest that's over 100 years old and in those soils, in that context, we have a persistent colony of purple milkweed. Some plants just have this mystique due to their rarity and their beauty. Purple milkweed is one of these plants with its deeply hued flowers and its honeyed fragrance. Purple milkweed is a long-lived, tap-rooted perennial. A lot of us know common milkweed, which is a close relative of purple milkweed. It thrives in really disturbed conditions, like old agricultural fields and so on. Purple milkweed is a lot more particular about its habitat types and the quality of the habitat around it. So as I came up and found this purple milkweed, I looked below it and despite the fact that we have blackberry here and goldenrod and invasive shrubs, there's actually a blood root growing right at the base of the purple milkweed here. Just walking along, I'm seeing small sundrops. I'm seeing these swords of Carolina rose. I'm seeing some kind of cool skull cap over there that I need to go check and see what it is. The message that these species are communicating is there's something special about this spot. We're in some kind of a remnant high quality habitat here. Purple milkweed is uncommon here in New Jersey, but it's not so uncommon to make it onto the state list of species of special concern. That may be changing, however. Just to the north of here in New England, there are only five populations left as of the early 2000s, compared to 82 populations that were known prior to the mid-1900s. There's a lot of speculation as to why a plant like purple milkweed might be rare. Invasive species, genetic inbreeding, certain kinds of pests. I think that purple milkweed thrives in a type of habitat that may no longer really exist. Forestry practices in our forests tend to favor the creation of young, densely stocked forests. Sure, there will be a little early successional phase where foresters come and cut and there's a lot of sun, but that grows in with a thicket of saplings, sometimes within just five years, and there's not really time for a persistent, high-quality native plant community like that would include purple milkweed to establish itself. The answer, however, may not be a lack of forest management. It might not be don't cut any trees. Maybe the answer is to have a style of forest management that harkens back to the way that forests were managed by indigenous peoples here for thousands of years, which is the creation of open forests. Their primary tool was fire, and the intent was multiple, but one of the things about open forests is there's good harvesting of berries and herbs from the forest floor. There's excellent hunting grounds, and it makes the nut harvest from those old oaks and hickories much easier. Indigenous peoples were setting fires to maintain habitats here in the Northeast close to 10,000 years ago. And prior to that indigenous land management, we had Pleistocene megafauna in this area. Mastodons, mammoths, giant ground sloths, also creating open forest structure. So the type of dense sort of teenage young forests all crowded together that we see now that we consider to be a forest is hardly a real forest at all when considered against thousands and thousands of years of a more open forest structure type being dominant here in the Northeast. Mm -hmm. 